My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got an amazing 1955 Ford Crown Victoria here. Quarter million dollars spent building this car. It's won all sorts of prestigious awards. It's been uh, top picked by some very notable people in the car industry. It's been in magazine spreads, but more importantly, it turned out great. It's a beautiful car and it drives. I drove this car the other day, took it home, drove around. It is it's spot on, excellent car. Visit volocars.com and you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, and get the price, not only on this one, but on a few hundred collector cars we have that are all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, please join me. Let's go for a spin in this Crown Vic. It's one of those cars, it's uh, very tasteful, very subtle. Uh, for example, there's a 1941 Lincoln push button to open the door right here. Uh, all the trim, well I shouldn't say the trim, it has this beautiful uh, molding right here, but the emblems, the hood ornaments, the trim on the trunk, all that's been shaved and filled so it's a nice smooth look. The trim that is here, the stainless, is straightened and polished like chrome. All of this is pristine. It has all new Solex glass with the light tint all the way around. So every gasket, every weather strip, it's all been replaced. These are Mercury tail lights. They're either 55 or 56 Mercury tail lights. Uh, the bumper has show chrome on it. Like I said, everything here is filled and smooth. There's a lever underneath that opens it. I'll demonstrate in a minute. These are 1957 uh, Mercury station wagon skirts. Push button door handle from 41 Lincoln. Cadillac Sombrero hubcaps, uh, radial white wall tires. I don't know if you noticed the front end yet, but it's a 1959 Thunderbird grill and bumper that's fabricated into this car right here. So that's a really nice job. Again, the hood ornament is shaved and smooth and clean. Wait till you see what's under the hood too. Underneath the car, it's an Art Morrison custom built chassis for this car. It's three by four uh, square tubing. It's all smooth and painted. Up front is chrome tubular control arms, coil over adjustable shocks at all four corners, uh, flaming river rack and pinion steering. It's got a sway bar up front, uh, Art Morrison spindles. In back, it has an Art Morrison four link suspension with chrome tubular control arms and again the uh, uh, adjustable coil over shocks. You look up at the motor, it's clean, it has a high torque starter. And it's all Ford driveline. It's a Ford top loader four speed. It's got a heavy duty uh, bell housing. It's got a hydraulic clutch. Uh, it's got a special made drive shaft. Uh, completely custom uh, new Ford nine inch rear end with uh, the specs are on our website, but it's like a 32 or 36 spline axles, and it's a 350 Posi gear unit that's in there. Uh, the brakes, all Willwood brakes, uh, has a custom emergency brake system, 11 inch discs at each wheel, it's got polished calipers in the front. Uh, the bottom of the car is all solid metal, and it was sprayed with a rubberized undercoating for soundproofing and protection and it's all neatly done, but the whole chassis is done the color of the car. It has a custom made uh, welded uh, exhaust system with glass packs, you'll hear that in a minute, it sounds great. The hood has been modified, so it takes me a second to open it here. Wait. There we go. It is rather heavy at first here. Russell, can you hand me the prop rod? It's 
a beautiful engine apartment. They've got this can fancy, looks like a, a lightsaber to hold the hood open. We'll get back to that in a second. That's a crate. 460 with 540 horsepower Ford engine, a crate motor from Ford Racing. The interior is all soft leather. I mean real leather, glove soft. Those are Thunderbird seats out of like a 64 Thunderbird. All custom made door panels, so classy. Real nice premium carpet with bound edges. Now underneath there's a lever here. There we go. Comes with a custom show board, comes with a car cover, and is completely upholstered to match the inside of the car. Oh, it comes with a box of the documentation. I was looking for that. Anyway, back inside the car, it's all custom dash, has a nice set of VDO classic gauges. This car was restored in 2005, so it's got about 15 years, and it has about 3,500 miles on it. So it's still an outstanding, uh, beautiful show car, but now it's time to get in and drive it and enjoy it. It has an aluminum tilt column with a nice leather-wrapped steering wheel, has billet pedals. Uh, this seat is power. It has uh, seat belts. Now under the hood here, it has a custom set of Doug's long tube headers. The whole exhaust system, by the way, is ceramic coated. It has uh, Super Cobra Jet aluminum heads, a polished aluminum intake with dual 600 Holly carbs, a Ford electronic ignition, serpentine belt, polished stainless steel radiator hose, uh, overflow bottle, it's an aluminum radiator, you can't see it. Uh, air conditioning system, stainless steel braided hoses, and they hid a lot of it. It's a smooth firewall. They hid uh, the ignition system, even the wiper motor is up under the fender here. The headliner is all redone and the light works and all the inside chrome is redone. Very nice, clean, simple dash. The power window switches are up under the dash and the headlight switch is under the dash. The air conditioning vents are neatly installed. Well, we fire it up. Got a nice stereo. This thing's a hot dog, man. It'll get up and go. That four speed, shifting and downshifting. It, it's just fun. It makes a nice sound. We'll blow out our speakers, but this thing's cool. Smooth firewall, stainless steel hardware throughout, custom headlights. This car was restored by some very notable people. And like I said, it won some very prestigious awards. I'll have them listed on the website. I couldn't memorize all of it. Uh, it's been in magazines. Here's a lot of the documentation. Here's a photo album of the restoration process. There'll be pictures of that on our website. So this is the real deal, folks. This is a high quality, very tastefully done, very dialed in ready for show and, uh, show and go, visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my honest impression of the car. If you have specific questions or concerns, feel free to ask them. That's at volocars.com. They'll help with the financing, delivery, all the paperwork. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.